Hello people and welcome to DIY Craftopedia. This is Sanatan and this video is about making a gel wax candle without any heat. I know melting wax and then pouring it in a mold can be a very messy work. You can even burn your hands while doing it. So this technique is for those people. You need gel wax which is just another kind of wax and the name suggests it's really jelly. So first you need to break a few pieces of it and start crushing them using your hands and I would say please use gloves because in case your hands get messy it's really difficult to wash them and the smell stays in which is like really bad. So you need to crush the pieces as shown and ensure that you don't have any large pieces which is done like that. done now now let's add some color to it I'm using blue color and I'm using gel wax colors which are specifically made for using in gel wax uh, candle making you cannot use any other color it's available in the market and if possible I'll give a link of Amazon or any other uh, online shop in the description box below so again after adding color you need to mix it again so that the color gets you know got spread evenly throughout the wax so it's done I'm using a glass tumbler for the work and first you need to fill some gel wax in the container and you just need to fill up till the height you can attach the wick so now I'm going to attach the wick in there hold it in place and then pour the remaining gel wax in it you may need to press down the wick so that it stays at the place ensure that the wick stays in the middle uh, if you want you can even uh, you know Give it a stand and ensure that it stays at the middle and then fill the gel wax. In the process you need to uh, press down a bit of gel wax so that you don't form a lot of air bubbles in there and you can spread the gel wax evenly throughout the container. That's almost done. I would just uh, add a lot of the remaining scrapes as well. And of course, I need to add the scrapes which has fallen on the table as well. And you need to adjust the wick and press down a bit of gel wax so that it again stays at the center. The wick stays at the center. And now uh, you can take any needle this step is optional this step is supposed to be followed only if your wick is uh, sticking out too much at the top of the candle uh, in my case you can see that I've got a lot of wick at the top so I'm using a needle to push down a bit into the candle just you need uh, some half inch uh, wick at the top so that you can light the candle uh, more than that would be a waste of it so I guess that does the work that's enough uh, okay you need to tap the glass once so that again uh, things get settled a bit and press down the gel wax and that's it well that's the completed uh, candle I've added some more color at the top to give a gradient effect 
so for me it's it's got it has got a really crystalline effect i really liked it in my tabletop and that's when i light the candle it's really gorgeous for me and if you feel the same please give a comment in the comment section below and if you like the idea don't forget to like and share the video and if you're new don't forget to subscribe to my channel see you in the next video goodbye guys